Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Colin, that's my hand right here, and uh, I've decided to do a little bit of a different video. This is actually a kind of a real vlog, I guess you could say, because I found this book here, so I decided to kind of do this in a, I guess you could say, Ashens style. I know Ashens didn't really invent this format or anything like that, uh, or maybe he did, I don't know, you can't prove that, but I decided this would be the proper format to kind of show this off. And so this is, this is Meet John F. Kennedy. It's a children's book, and uh, you can kind of tell by this right there, Step Up Books was a children's book company, but I don't, I don't know if they're still around. They might be, or they might be under a different name, or something like that, but this is in fact a children's book. You can even kind of tell by the way that everything is kind of typed out. So Meet John F. Kennedy, that, that font right there, that typeface, is very indicative of children's books, Back in the 1960s, you probably see a lot of Dr. Seuss books with using that kind of, that style of uh, kind of generic, big font. And uh, this this right here. Let's look at the back there just to get that out of the way. Nothing. And so the interesting thing about this is that this was published in 1965, two years after John F. Kennedy was assassinated. So at at some point, Step Up Books decided to let's 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 make a children's book talking about JFK, and you would think that maybe, maybe they would talk about his death maybe towards the back of the book and they would sugarcoat it or do something like that, but wh why don't we just, why don't we just open it up and take a look? All right, here, let's, let's, let's open this up and, it, oh, look at this. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of really nice pictures here of JFK and family, and uh, there's, there's him and his, uh, and his wife, Jackie. So uh, then there, once again, there's, there's, there he is. And there's a lot of other people. They want to, they want to talk to him. They want to talk to him. They want to talk to JFK. Here's the list of illustrations. There he is again. It's right there. Looking good. Then let's go to the beginning here and look at that. Oh, and that is a very familiar photo right there. Let's read, shall we? On November 2nd. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say November 2nd? <sighs> No, this is not. All right. <clears throat> this time, for real. On November 22nd, 1963, a handsome young man rode into the city of Dallas, Texas. By his side sat his beautiful wife, all dressed in pink. It was a hot, sunny day in Dallas. They rode in an open car. Their car moved slowly. They smiled and waved to the crowds along the streets. People cheered. They were glad these young people had come to their city. What's happened next? Suddenly, the sound of three shots ripped the air. One shot hit the young man's neck. Another hit his head. He fell sideways into his wife's lap. Minutes later, he was dead. He was John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States. He had been shot and killed by an assassin. So that's... That's how we're going to start our children's book on JFK. Just eat, yep, that's it. Now listen, the 60s. I was not alive in the 1960s. But you look in the history books, a lot of crazy things happened in the 1960s. That was that was just a crazy decade. And you know, even from from the history books and from people that I know, you know, my father was alive during the 1960s. Uh, you know, a, a lot of a lot of relatives that I know, a lot of people out there that talk about the 1960s. Crazy things happened. So you imagine that maybe Step Up Books was just like, you know, what, we're not going to sugarcoat it. There's, there's, there's just there's way to. There would be so much sugarcoating having to be done to try and protect these children from all of the crazy things that were happening it, it just at the time. So. So kudos to them, kudos to, to Nancy Bean White, who made this book and just decided, let's cut the bullshit. And even let's say, and, and the rest of the book is kind of interesting in the sense that it, it, Miss, Ms. White does her best to try and present JFK's life to kids. And, uh, and it's, it's, uh, the, you can, you can see the, the, it's it's tough. It's tough to talk about any politician. Kennedy said he was a good Catholic. Other men were Jews or Protestants. So it's like there's she she's trying so hard to try and present this information to kids in in a very friendly way, 
And uh, after a while, once you start getting into politics and you start getting into the, the life of a politician, and especially one that had been, you know, killed. Let's see here. Some countries were testing bigger and bigger bombs. Like, it, yeah, it's, it was getting uh, very hard to try and sugarcoat it all. And so this, this definitely was an attempt to just give, kid, give it to them, give it to them straight. And uh, that's, that's, I have not read a lot of kids' books lately, but it's, it's not really a thing that I'm going to guess that you see a lot lately. And this is definitely something you didn't see when I was a kid back in the late 80s and early 90s. But let's take a look at the back here. After President Kennedy was killed. Right after President Kennedy was killed, the Dallas police arrested a man named Lee Harvey Oswald. I'm shaking the camera here, sorry. The police believed Oswald had killed the president but they were not able to find out from him if he had done it or why he had done it. For Oswald himself was killed before he could tell what he knew. President Lyndon Johnson thought the world should know about, should, should know all the facts about President Kennedy's murder. He asked seven men to find out everything they could about it. Nearly one year later, on September 24th, 1964, the seven men gave President Johnson a huge book. It was everything they had learned about the murder. The things they, that they learned... That the th um, I apologize, I'm really messing up here. It, it, yes, it's a children's book, I know. The things they had learned made the s seven men sure it was Lee Harvey Oswald who had killed President Kennedy. They believed Oswald was not in his right mind when he did it. So yeah, there you go. Sorry, yes, I'm, I'm flubbing up this children's book, but it's a very advanced children's book. You have to, you have to give me that. So this is just kind of a weird little oddity, and it's definitely the the kind of children's book you would not really see today. And this is definitely like, like this would be kind of the equivalent of a a children's book in the '90s talking about the the Clinton sex scandal. It's it's just it's a it's a weird thing to kind of bring up. They 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 probably could have just went through the entire book, not even mentioning the the. The, the the murder, and then just at the very end say just you know oh John F Kennedy you know when you know and just show his date of birth and his date of death and just say you know oh he you know in, in 1963 you know he's he he passed away but then again 1965 you know like it, it you'd have to be a really young kid to not to 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 not know about the murder from 1963 it was only two years before this so I imagine even if you're a pretty young even if you're this kid right here this is a young kid you probably knew about the president getting killed. Once again, I was not alive then. So, once again, this is just kind of an interesting little thing that I wanted to show. So I, I apologize if, uh, if anyone out there was expecting a, 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 a gut buster, since most of our other videos are, are comedic. But uh, yeah, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll get on that uh, fairly soon. So don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching.